First and foremost, thank you for choosing me, and I also choose you. In a world of 100 million options, distractions, opportunities, and choices, I promise to keep choosing you above them all. I promise to do my best to encourage you in our dark times. I promise that I'll continue to pray for you always. I promise to treat every burden between us as a glorious burden of what it means to be married to each other. I promise I'll bet on you every time, in every occasion, and in any circumstance. Because I believe in you, and your abilities, in your character, in your heart. I promise to always love you more and more. Joshua, you may kiss your bride. I only got one 911 phone call that day. He told me that this person had fallen, he thought, and he didn't think that they were alive. We had no idea really what was going on. In all the paramedics, they were running. There was eight people on that thing. Very seldom I ever seen running with the stretchers. Her leg was off and her hand was almost off. It was just a bad place to get hurt. She should have died at the bottom of the hill. She should have died. I'm Kayleen Baker. I'm a Christian, an amputee, type 1 diabetic, and I survived a rock climbing accident. Nine one one. what's the location of your emergency? Nashville Bridge Falls. So June 30th, 2018, Josh and I decided to go climbing at a different place than we would usually go. It ended up just being the two of us. We decided to go to Natural Bridge. I had never been, but Josh had been two or three times before. I remember some of the climbs, and I remember them being really fun. We were rocking it that day. We were doing really good. At lunch, we decided to do one more climb. It was a 5'7", so that's a relatively easy climb. Josh led it, so he was the one that was climbing. I was the one on the ground belaying him. When I was about 40 feet in the air, I got stuck at this one section. You had to like put your shoulder into the wall and then like reach your hand up and pull. And when he pulled, the rock came loose and came down on me. I yelled at Kayleen to run. But there was nowhere for me to go, so Josh was stuck 40 feet in the air. And I looked down. I saw Kayleen face down, and she was missing her leg, and I thought she was dead. The next thing was just trying to get down. I was hanging from the bolt that was above me. I could pull my rope and get a couple inches further towards the ground each time. When I was about 20 feet above the ground, I jumped down, and I didn't know what to do, and I noticed that she was groaning. So I knew she was alive. I started taking off my clothes and trying to use them to stop the bleeding. He was yelling for help this entire time and someone heard him yelling. They called 911 because we didn't have cell phone service there. What's the emergency? Two climbers, one of them fell and uh, seriously injured. And you so, think he's still alive, but you're not sure? Yeah, this is a legit emergency. You need to get somebody right. down here. Yeah, I will send people up there. Josh knew that he needed help, so he ran to where the climbers were, just like around the corner. They came and helped tourniquet my leg, tourniquet my arm. A couple of them ran for help. I passed out after that. At that point, it kind of became this weird waiting game. The first people who got there after the climbers was search and rescue. They started carrying her away and got her into the ambulance we could see the helicopter flying over. The helicopter came and took off pretty quick and headed towards St. Vincent's and Billings. The next thing was to call Kayleen's parents. I had no idea of the extent of her injuries. Her sternum was broken, broken ribs, broken scapula. I believe her foot was broken. She had a collapsed lung. Her back was broken. Her nose was broken. A dissected artery in her neck. I don't have any memories of any part of the accident, but thinking about it from Josh's perspective, I'm like, man, that's that would be so tough. Like, I can't believe he went through that. He saw all of those things. 
No, that's a, I mean, those images are just hard to get out of my head. And I don't know if that will ever go away. I don't love that. It just is. We're looking for housing in Bozeman because Josh will start school at the end of August and I'll start work at the end of August. Woohoo! That's all our stuff. Our relationship wasn't always super smooth. Like we were engaged before and then broke off the engagement and then kept dating, which is crazy. Oh man, I wanna help you, but I can't do anything. I always question Josh's commitment to me. You know, when I've asked Josh about it, like, do you think we would still be married if the accident didn't happen? He said, you know, I hope so. I like, I hope we would have been married no matter what. In the middle. Home, sweet home. After you. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to having wood floors, being able to get around in my wheelchair easier, and then just setting up a home. With being married now too, it's exciting. Hey Josh. Yeah, boo. Will you come look at this real quick? Yeah, boo. So I can't get to that side, but that could be your side of the dresser. And then this could be my side. I think this would be fine to get in and out of. Yeah, I think that should work. Can that be okay? I definitely wish I could change things. Like other amputees that I've talked to, and they're like, I wouldn't change a thing. That's bullshit. Like, I think I was a good person and a strong person before the accident. <laughs> I would much rather have my leg back and have my hand back. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to help. Absolutely. I think if anything, the accident showed me that like I really did want to be with her. That I really did not want to lose her in any form or fashion. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> Give it away. Oh, That's a hair towel we oh, yeah. give away. It doesn't, it's hard for me. Oh man, there's so many of these clothes I used to love wearing, <laughs> give it away. Just the reality of what life looks like now makes me sad just to kind of realize how much work I'll have to put into it and that I'm not quite there yet. I think that's tough too. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs> Thank you for much. Oh, thanks. Okay, last name. Baker. Okay, you're checked in. Awesome. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Learning how to walk again, it's been pretty tough. When I first got my leg, it was just weird to put weight through it and then feel how to make the knee work correctly and where to weight shift. But it felt really good to be able to walk again, not just be confined to my chair all the time. Okay, so I will walk it out and then pull over. This is where I'm kind of a turtle. <laughs> I get kind of stuck. So up on your elbows. There you go, that's perfect. So drop your butt down just a little bit more. And then, if you can, if this is not too hard, can you pick this leg up? I feel like that's fairly impossible. Okay, how about picking up the other leg? I can do that one better. Awesome. Try this one. Just try and, and de-weight, so even just a weight shift over there. Nice, I saw it. That was good. You engaged your butt on that one, which is exactly what you need to down. be doing. Okay, you can. New normal for now is not being able to move as much, but I know I'll get back to it eventually. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday, dear Kayleen. Happy birthday to you. Good job on surviving another year. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you ready? Can I hold your hand? Yeah, sure can. <laughs> it's been a year since the accident. There's just so many different miracles and things that happened that day to make it so I'm here today. I feel like this is like the grand entrance. I've been touched by everybody here. <laughs> Someone's tourniqueted your leg. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Good to see you. Man. Good to see you. I wanted to give you a hug the last time okay. I saw you, but we can't do that. Okay. You want to give me well, a hug? Well, now you can give hugs. <laughs> really good to see you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your Yeah. Here. It's just nice to see what has happened in the end, you know, that she's going on with her life. From the time we got the call to the time we got her to the ambulance was roughly an hour. 
I think we all kind of set speed records that day. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Usually we have a patient, we take them and we never see them again, we never hear from them. It was traumatic for her, but it was traumatic for us as, as responders because it was, it was gruesome and it was not what you expect. Yeah. A year ago today, I was laying in the hospital with a tube down my throat, with a back brace on, and now I'm getting out of bed, I'm making my bed, making myself breakfast. It's just so different than it was a year ago. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys and for God helping me, and for Josh helping to save my life too, so, so thank you. I think I'm curious to know what happened, how it was that I got my whole left side taken out. I don't know if there's a next piece to, after I figure out, or if I ever figure out what happened. I don't know if I ever will. So are you guys going back up there after this then? Yeah, might as well kind of just face it head on. Like it might, we might experience a bunch of emotions and it might be a hard day. So yeah. we'll just go there, we'll pray, just kind of process whatever we can and then go back. Yeah. When I thought about going to Natural Bridge, I was kind of excited, but then when we were pulling in, I started tearing up. I was like, oh, shoot, Josh, I don't know if I can do this. You okay? All right. So we'll just go over there. Okay. I feel like I'm right on the edge of tears. How are you feeling? I think more angry. Yeah? Yeah. So you see that kind of divot yeah. right there? So I was standing right there, and then you see where it's kind of like flat before mm -hmm. it changes colors? Yeah. On the right side of that is where the rock came out. Where it's kind of pointed? Yeah. Okay. And I think you were knocked down that hill a little bit. I think it's freaky to look and see that there's loose rocks there. I have a little bit of a resentment towards the area, mainly because People know that rocks fall there. It's irritating that I didn't know that. I'm gonna go down there. Like you're going all the way down there? I think to that spot. Are you okay with that? I think so. weird like I don't necessarily want to come back here I guess it helps me process the day of like what happened and what was the rock climbing like but I think I'm I'm I'd like to move on from this as much as like we can Thinking back on how much I miss my life before the accident, that's been really hard. There's lots of moments for me that aren't great. It's usually when I'm just home by myself and it's like, man, this really sucks. I think things are just different from how they were before. A lot of things are more stationary. We end up wondering when we can push that and wondering when we need to stay balanced and, and rest a lot. How far do you want to go? I don't know, actually. I so that's that. 0 0.05. Might be less than a mile still. I feel a little bit of guilt that I'm kind of holding Josh back. Like, I see that it's because he loves me that he wants to stay back, but it's really hard because I know that he loves being outside and doing things, so I don't want to be the reason why he doesn't do them. That is horrible. Terrifying? Yep. Good job. <laughs> I can only handle one day, one cup's worth of pain and grief. I choose not to focus on tomorrow when it comes to grief because it's too heavy. I got gotcha. you. Behind you because I can only handle one day at a time. And to just to try and attend to that in the ways that are healthiest for me. Ugh. 
I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah, this isn't, for me, this isn't like a, just a straightforward hike. Yeah, I mean, things are just different now. Yeah. I want to get back to rock climbing, even if it's just indoors, because Josh said I can only climb indoors now because rocks can't fall on me inside. <laughs> and even seeing where the accident was, I'm like, it makes me want to climb, and that sucks, because I can't. And I still don't want to be someone who's overcome with fear or ruled by fear, or I make decisions based on fear. It's like, yeah, I'm scared of this, but I don't want this to rule my life, so I'm going to get over it. You ready? I'm ready. All righty. So Kayleen is going to try and climb in a month. I really enjoyed it before the accident, so I think I would enjoy getting back to it. So we can look back at, you know, this arm mm -hmm. that you were initially fit with and mm -hmm. convert it into a climbing arm. We're just thinking, you know, put a joint on this and come up a little higher okay. around your triceps just to really lock you in there. Because we don't want your arm coming off while you're climbing. Makes sense, yeah. yeah. Wouldn't be great. Then, <laughs> then possibly using a harness, so, mm -hmm. so a strap coming around goes around your other shoulder to really hold it on. Okay, so there's... Multiple things come up for me of feeling really nervous just about being around climbing again and what that will bring up. Oh, that turned out nice. Yeah. Oh, there, there we is. go. See, this is just even a workout, having that on there instead of my nub. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's heavier. Several months in a hospital, learning how to rewalk. On one level, I'm just afraid of like, of how hard it will hit her. If she wants to do it, it's going to be a whole nother level of difficulty than she had experienced when she had all of her limbs. I think I'm afraid of how much the accident is gonna show up at the rock climbing gym. You wanna try pulling? Pull it. Well, that's not good. Do you wanna try on the climbing leg? Sure. Okay. So just no oh, knee, just baby a straight foot. little baby foot on there. <laughs> That up Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, so pirate leg. Pirate yeah. Leg. Oh, jeez. <laughs> baby steps with the baby foot. <laughs> well, thank right. you. Yeah, you're welcome. So today is the first day back to a gym since the accident. So it's my first time trying out my prosthetics, getting back on the wall and seeing what I can do. what comes up for me is like a nervousness and a recollection of what it was like that day and everything. But right now, I'm, I'm here for her. Josh, are you ready for this? I can believe. Yeah. Are you okay to do this? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. How you doing? Yeah. Are you worried about you? No, I didn't think you were. I'm fine. Yeah, it's okay. Not in shape. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just already so tired. Mhm. Mm you got a case. Pull and rock it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so tiring. It's so dumb. I knew it was gonna be really hard, so that wasn't a surprise. But. I think it's just different trying to figure out what to do next. There you go. There 
型啊。But yeah, good girl. Oh, I feel like we just had a little break. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh. Tired? This is yeah. It's so dumb how tired my arm gets. Yeah. We're just gonna go all the way to the ground. Okay. <laughs> all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Through there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. One part I really like about rock climbing is the challenge of it. Now it's the added challenge of not having limbs. She doesn't want to stop. She doesn't want her life to be totally wrapped up in missing a leg or missing a hand. She's not going to quit. Case? Yeah. Yeah, Case. Yeah, look how high you are. You can do it. It is exciting to reconnect with a hobby of ours that like was really important to us. I guess that's just something I forget, that that's, that is a really big first step. So even if that was all it was, I would just try it and I never get into climbing again. Like, I tried it. And that's, that does take a lot of courage. Ready? Yeah, just the old trend. Mm -hmm. I think in 10 years, I hope that the grief lives more in the past, that We've built up enough new memories after the accident of things that we are super thankful for. I think we've had some healing, but I don't think as much as there will be in 10 years. But I'm hoping someday we can hopefully be at the spot that we're both good with teaching our kids to climb. We'll see. We'll see, though. This is Roran, and he is our baby. Roran was born on May 6th of 2022. Watching him discover the world and his hands and his toys yeah. and our faces. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. That's yeah, really it is good. really fun. Yeah. It's just been so enjoyable and delightful watching her become a mom. I know there's, there is so much stuff that like, takes longer or is more complicated due to her injuries. She's figured it out and doing just an amazing job. I think Roran has helped us move forward by just helping us learn how to be a team and really working together to parent him. Are you ready for some food, Bubs? Yep, Dad's over there. You know, we have a lot of bottles that we have to wash and it's pretty hard for me to wash them, just having one hand. So there are certain things that I, I offer to do rather than washing bottles. And so that's my part to play. The accident is still pretty apparent every day. It has become more of a background thing in a way, and it's not as much as a brain workout. The pace of our life is a lot slower than it mm -hmm. used to be. And I think life is easier to enjoy when we are better at accepting like mm -hmm. the pace of what just it has to be. The big part of my life of how I can keep moving forward is my faith. I, I feel like God helps center me and help me to remember who I want to be and how I want to live. I think to put one foot in front of the other means continuing to look into our future and say, you know, I still want to be fully engaged with this life. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.